So previously, we saw that when we have an unhindered substrate, the strong nucleophile will do an SN2 mechanism. And then we realized that when it became hindered, the strong nucleophile acted like a strong base. And so we got the elimination mechanism, the A2 mechanism. Now what happens if it's hindered, but the strong nucleophile is not a strong base? What if it's just a strong nucleophile? It can't act like a base, so what is it going to do? Well, we get something called the SN1 mechanism. And this mechanism, it's two steps. The first step is when this bromine takes away this bond with it, these electrons, and takes it as a lone pair. And then we get a little intermediate. So we get this carbon right here with a positive charge. So just before we draw, I'll just draw lines to represent the hydrogens over here. We get a positive charge on this carbon. And because we have a positive charge, this carbon right here on the cyanide, which is a strong nucleophile but not a good base, will use its negative charge and attack that positive charge on the carbon. And so we get a final product that looks like this, where we have our three, our carbons remain the same. We have our hydrogens, which is just represented by lines. And then we have our new cyanide molecule on it. And so that's the SN1 mechanism. It's a two-step reaction. And the rate of this mechanism only depends on the substrate, on the stability of the substrate. As you've noticed, a carbocation requires electron donating groups like carbons over here. These carbons will elect be electron donators. They'll support electron density for this carbocation. So the more substituted a carbocation is, the better. So in this situation, for example, when we had our bromine, it's a tertiary carbon. So it's likely to have the SN1 mechanism. And we'll see that Anything that's also a lilac, which means if we had double bonds resonating with this carbocation or, uh, or benzylic, so if we had a benzene, if this was a benzylic carbon, that provides even more stabilization to the carbocation because it spreads out that positive charge all over. So this is the SN1 mechanism.